Honda Rawlings, News and Community Affairs Director for 107.3 Jams, and I'm here with Democratic Senator Vincent Shaheen. How are you? I'm great, Ron. It's good to be back with you. Great. Now, you just got finished with a lively debate with um, Representative Haley. How did you think that went? I had a great time. I absolutely enjoyed it. I think we got our points across, and the points are this. If we don't have a governor that we can trust again, we're not going to accomplish anything in South Carolina. And I'm tired of all these platitudes and these sound bites we've heard from Haley and Mark Sanford for the last six years. I want substance. And my substance is job creation, supporting public education, and getting behind government reform so we can deliver the services that we need to in a cost-effective manner. Great. Now, with less than two weeks, we're at, today is actually exactly two weeks away from the November 2nd general election. If elected, what are some of the first things you think are, um, are important to, to take care of? Well, one of the first things to do is appoint a Commerce Secretary. Uh, we've got to recruit jobs and industry back into South Carolina. I'm committed to doing that. I'm committed to personally doing that. I also want to make sure that I have diversity in my cabinet. I want to make sure that my cabinet represents as much as possible what South Carolina looks like. So we're going to try to make sure that we include everyone in that transition process. And that process is going to have to start uh, right after November 2nd. We have so much to do in South Carolina, but I'm really excited about working on it. Exactly. And what I um, was telling the Senator just a little while ago, the debate was extremely heated. Um, what can you uh, say about Nikki Haley as far as you know, you were talking about her, the job that caused yeah. you concern. Right. Well, she, you know, she, she likes to pretend that she's this transparent candidate who's fighting against the establishment and status quo. But the truth is that she and Mark Sanford have been tied to him. That she actually got a job working for a company called Wilbur Smith, making $40,000 a year and didn't disclose it to anybody. And nobody still knows what she was doing. She also uh, was working at a job at a public hospital, uh, got pushed out because she wasn't showing up for work. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then hired a lawyer to force them to pay her a settlement. You know, she won't disclose her emails off her public computer. Uh, it turns out she interfered in an investigation that her family uh, had going about their company. There are just so many questions. And I don't think this state can afford that for another four years. We've been through too much scandal. Understandable. Now, um, one thing you did mention during the debate, the debate excuse me, was that you are a product of public schools. What can you do, because our nation and South Carolina schools are really suffering as far as funding is concerned, what do you think is one of the first things you can do about that? Well, first of all, we have to have an advocate for public schools back in the governor's office. I am the only uh, candidate of the two major parties who graduated from public school. My commitment is to public schools. I think it's going to be a tough year, and I don't like to pretend to anybody that everything's going to be okay. It's going to be hard. My goal is to keep those dollars in the classroom, to keep those teachers employed, to keep the cuts from being any worse than they absolutely have to be. I want to have a more ta stable tax system so that we can make sure that we can support uh, public education in a way that doesn't see these incredible dips uh, and rises. And those are, those are my, uh, my, my work that I want to undergo immediately as we begin uh, this new administration. It's an exciting time. I mean, to see change come to South Carolina, it's a big deal. It is. It's an exciting time, and it was an exciting debate. Thank you Thank so you. much for your time Thank today. you, Rhonda. I enjoyed it as always. Thank you. This is Rhonda Rawlings for 107.3 Jams.